Hey everybody, Slash 2X. Uh, got video for you on uh, my ship configuration. Uh, I did one of these a while back for my Cobra, and a lot of people have been asking how I've been bounty hunting with the Vulture. So, figure I'd go ahead and give you a quick rundown of this. Uh, I am running uh, dual beam lasers. I got the gimbaled ones. They are the Class 3. You don't want to go a smaller class, because what's the point in having a Class 3 then? So, kill warrant scanner. I just went with a, a simple E. Didn't really bother with anything further distance to save power primarily. You lose a lot of power in the Vulture. There's a lot of power management. I put a shield boost on here. It wasn't a high end one, but it is giving me a little bit extra. And a chaff launcher. That is a big deal when you're fighting some of those bigger ships that love those turrets. Uh, for my internal components, I did go with the military grade composite. Uh, Best armor you can get, in my opinion. It doesn't really focus too heavily in one area or the other, but gives you a lot of upgrade. Uh, of course, A-level power plant. There's not a whole lot of juice in this thing. Even with an A-level power plant, I only have 15.6. Uh, and obviously, class 4. Thrusters, I only went to C. Again, that power management. As you can see, retracted, I'm running at 12.63 out of an available 15.6. Deployed, I'm running at 16.39. I overclock it. So I push it a little further than you're probably supposed to. So we'll get into that a little more later. Uh, I did go ahead and go with the B-level frame shift drive for now. I actually changed this out. So if I know I'm not going to be in an area and I have zero intention on leaving, what I'll do is I'll find my class. And then I'll downgrade just to free up a little bit of power if I need it and upgrade weapon or whatever. So I'll actually fluctuate back and forth a little bit on this. But as you can see, there's not a massive difference. I mean, there's no real reason to do that too often. If I had the A, it'd be different. But don't really do much jumping. I primarily work in the area I'm going to work in. So take that for what you will. Life support. Uh, I am still running an E. For a while there, I had upgraded a little bit. But I had to pull back a little bit in order to fit some of the other stuff. A-level power distributor, obviously. You always want to go with that. I'm going with the B-level of the sensors. They do help a little bit with that snap, too, uh, for distance. So get you on your target just a little bit faster. It does not affect target sway. That's been a point of confusion for a lot of folks. If you're on gimbaled, they still have that little sway back and forth. That's not changing. What this does is let you snap to a little bit earlier, which can come in handy. Uh, fuel tank's default, shield generator, again, B, I didn't go to the A level, I have the money, I have the ability to do so, it's this power, you just don't have the juice for it. I actually found I was a little bit better off getting the shield boost and sticking with the B. The numbers added up, so that's what I went with. Uh, everything past that, I have a whole reinforcement package, got shield cell bank, only got class 2 on that. Uh, and then more hole reinforcement. I keep as much hole reinforcement on this thing as I can. It's a tank. It's hard to kill because of that. Uh, I throw a couple of stickers on it just because I can. Combat Master. I earned that, so why not? And then the backer skull. Uh, no paint jobs for this yet. I'm still a little irritated about that. Come on, Frontier. Give us some Vulture paint jobs. We could use them. Because this thing looks terrible default. It looks like it's literally primer coat ready for somebody to put another real paint job on it. So, get us a real one. I know I'd buy it. <laughs> get rid of this thing. It looks terrible. Uh, I don't mind spend money on extra things in game like that because that's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, there's my basic configuration. Nothing fancy. I still have this spot empty for now. Uh, mostly, again, power requirements. I had put a heat sink launcher in here for a little bit, but meh. Uh, one thing I did want to show real quick. Go ahead and just take a look over here. You'll see with my power and cargo hatch and all that wonderful stuff, I do have groups three and four configured on this. Uh, some other group two has disappeared. I'll fix that at a later time. But I have the frame shift drive. That's the first thing to go away temporarily. As you can see, I'm running at 105% output. So 5% needs to go. So two of that's right here, frame shift drive. And the other item I put in four is cargo hatch. I don't have any cargo, so why do I need the cargo hatch, period? So that disables. There's 5% right there. Uh, there are other items I could 
have disabled in here. Like I've seen people set it up so their shield cell banks disable and then they enable them by retracting their weapons. They fire the shield cell bank then they put their weapons back out. A little bit too much for me. Uh, I need, I want them when I want them and I want to keep in the fight if I'm popping them. So if I'm going to all that trouble, I might as well run away from the fight, which that's not really my style anyway. But yeah, groups three and, three and four are my backups. Uh, I did put the shield cell bank in group three in case something happens to my power plant and I need the extra juice. Same with the chaff launcher, things like that. But yep, that's my basic configuration. Like I said, run a little hot. Um, it does come in handy being able to push just a little bit further, especially with the, the vulture. Um, one thing to note about that though, there is a tiny delay on the frame shift drive. Uh, you have to wait for your weapons to retract completely before the drive turns back on. But we're talking under five seconds. So not a big deal in my opinion. I'd rather have the extra juice for the extra shooting. But yep, there it is. Uh, that's the Vulture I'm currently running. So thanks again for watching. If you like the video, feel free to hit like. Uh, we're going to have more videos coming up. I just finished a starter series for Elite. So hopefully you'll be able to take a look at that if you've never looked at anything else for you know, how to play the game or some of the different details. I have plenty of information for that. If you have been playing, take a peek anyway. For all you know, that one of the tips I throw in there is something you've never thought of or seen. So uh, feel free to go ahead and refer that to any of your new friends as well. Thanks again.